Welcome to the first Texas Senate debate. I'll work with anyone, anytime, anywhere, and that includes the President of the United States. Work with Republican colleagues to expand access to mental health care. There were half a million veterans who put their lives on the line for this country. Everyone agrees we're going to protect pre-existing conditions. I don't know how you're going to repeal every single word of the Affordable Care Act and keep protections for pre-existing conditions. I want to make sure that we also expand Medicaid. This state left $100 billion on the table that could have provided care for people in this community, introduce Medicare as an option on the exchanges, and then get to universal, guaranteed, high-quality health care for every child, for every woman, for every man in this state and every state in the union. Senator Cruz and I were, were able to visit with students who survived the shooting at Santa Fe High School. Thoughts and prayers, Senator Cruz, are just not going to cut it anymore. The people of Texas, the children of Texas deserve action. And in 2015, he missed one quarter of the votes. In 2016, he missed one half of the votes in the United States Senate. You tell me who can miss half the days at work and then be rehired for the same job going forward. That's not what Texans want. Only one of us on this stage has started and run a small business, had to meet payroll every single week. That required balance in a budget and understanding how to make ends meet. Judge Kavanaugh does not meet the bar for Texas to serve on the Supreme Court. We need a Supreme Court justice who will decide in favor of people and for their rights that have been established by precedents and under the Constitution. And in Brent Kavanaugh, we do not have that justice. Generations from now, people looking back at this moment will not be able to believe that $2 trillion in tax breaks that disproportionately flow to corporations that are already sitting on record piles of cash, a tax bill written by the lobbyists for those very corporations. In fact, in one draft, in the margins, I believe not in investing in corporations and in special interests. I believe in investing in people. Our campaign is the largest grassroots campaign this state has ever seen, funded by people and only people in every single one of the counties of Texas every single day. At this deeply divided, highly polarized time in our history, this moment calls for all of us, regardless of party or any other difference of race or sexual orientation, how many generations you've been here or whether you just got here yesterday, we need to come together for this country that we love so much. President Harry Truman, reminded us that this country was not founded on fear. Instead, we are founded on courage, on imagination, and an unstoppable determination to do the job at hand. We are not running against another political party. We are running for this country. I know that we are up to the task, and I want to thank you for inspiring me, giving me confidence, giving me hope, encouraging me like no time in my life. I am grateful.